So yeah, I'm working on this again finally. I originally conceived of Thou the as a first person game, but I wasn't very good at making 3D graphics at that time, so I decided to go with sort of an isometric far away perspective, because that way I could have minimalistic low poly models that would be a lot quicker and easier for me to make, and in that view they would still look pretty decent. However, now the PS1 style has been taking off and I've gotten pretty good at it, so I figured that style would look good in first person, so if I switched my game's art style over to that, I could make it first person like I originally wanted to. So first off with the graphics, I made chunks of desert sand dunes and a few low poly rock faces and pillars, and I put them in the scene with tiling textures and triplanar mapping, so that way I can scale the meshes and stuff and they'll still look right in the scene. For the spacecraft, most of the textures I used came from NASA images that I edited, which as far as I can tell, it's legal to do that, and the bandit enemy just uses a few different textures I found free online and tried to put together in a way that looks like a sci-fi spacesuit. And finally, the player model was hand-painted and then the textures were scaled down to make them look pixelated. Now, first-person games are very awkward to make. To get a decent-looking first-person perspective set up, I needed a few things. First, an arms rig, which is parented to the camera, and I had to scale them up so they could actually reach the gun handles, since guns have to be placed farther forward to look right in first-person. Second, I needed a body rig that you see when you look down, and it has no head or arms because the head would clip with the camera, and I already have a separate arm rig. These two rigs, along with any guns you hold, are rendered to a separate layer that's overlaid onto your view so that they won't clip into walls and stuff. Finally, there's a full body model that's just for casting a shadow, and that's all there is to it. Now with this setup, I realized I could pretty easily make it toggle to third person, but it's pretty jank and probably won't be in the final game because it would just take too much time and effort to get it working smoothly. Onto the weapons, for each gun I animated where I wanted hands to be placed for each action. Then I wrote an inverse kinematics setup for the arms, which will automatically attach the character's hands to the weapons. I was wondering where you get your ammo from when you reload since you are a cyborg cultist who's taken a vow of nudity, and I realize there's a lot of space between your organs. Basically, just attach a reload point node and put it where you want to grab an ammo clip from. Then make the weapon animate a grab clip weight variable that determines how much the arm IK system should interpolate between the weapon hand point and the reload point. I'm also thinking in the future of making so your ammo capacity goes up based on how much empty space is in your body, though to make sacrificing organ space or that actually appealing to the player, I'll often add some high powered weaponry in that uses a lot of ammo. I also needed an infinite ammo backup weapon in case you run out of ammo. My first thought was to have fists, but like, this is a fast-paced FPS, you're not gonna be able to fight enemies with fists. So then I came up with the idea of having a finger gun that just shoots blood projectiles. I was thinking maybe it hurts you when you shoot, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having an infinite ammo weapon. So yeah, right now it's a fairly weak gun, but it can get the job done if you're out of ammo. For player movement, I have a simple Quake-style rig where the camera leans a bit based on your speed when you strafe left and right. I was thinking of also adding head bob, but it seems like a controversial mechanic, so I'm not gonna bother. I also tied jump height to movement speed so you can get some pretty high jumps if you max out movement speed. Okay, now for enemy AI. These are bandits that loot the crash spacecraft littered around the world, which is why they wear spacesuits and makes good improvised armor and they find them everywhere. So first off, they start either in an idle or patrol state, and then if they spot you or you shoot at them, they will switch to their attack state. In the attack state, they will run towards you and stop at a certain distance. If you're looking in their direction, they will also zigzag like crazy. The way this works is they get the current time on offset it by a random amount so groups of them won't zigzag at the same rate, then modulus that modified time by 2, subtract by 1, get the sign of that. This gives a value that flips between 1 and negative 1, which is then multiplied with the direction to their right, the resulting vector is added to their movement vector, and then it's normalized. And I also made them jump at random intervals, and all that together gives this crazy chaotic movement you see. For their aiming, when they first spot you, they will shoot directly at you, but the longer you go in roughly the same direction, the more accurately they will lead their shots, meaning you have to zigzag as well or duck behind cover to reset their aim lead. You'll notice they shoot projectiles. I was watching some Civi 11 videos and hearing them bitch about raycast enemies for the 50th time when I realized raycast enemies are bad because you can't dodge them. On the other hand, everyone prays doom because all the ranged enemies have projectile attacks which you can dodge. So getting shot at by projectile weapons is fun, getting shot at by raycast is not. But shooting raycast weapons yourself is fun because your ability to hit enemies is entirely 
determined by your aiming ability, no luck involved. But shooting projectile weapons isn't as fun because you have to lead your shots, and if enemies move unpredictably, that's almost impossible to do correctly. So I decided to make so when you use a gun, it's raycast, but when an enemy uses it, it's projectile based. That way you get the best of both worlds. I was patting myself on the back for coming up with this extraordinarily genius original design when I realized this is literally what Halo does. Humans have raycast weapons, Covenant have projectile weapons. However, even though you have raycast weapons, I was still finding it really hard to hit enemies, though that could just be because I'm really bad at FPSs. But to try correcting this, I made the gun have some spray, gave it a faster fire rate and a larger clip, and now I have a bullet hose that you just have to aim in the general direction of enemies to hit them. I also made it spawn bullet lines with each shot to give some sense of depth, inspired by Halo's machine gun. That helped a lot, but I was still struggling a bit with aiming, and I was thinking maybe I could make the shots explosive, but I'm also thinking this will probably get corrected, just as I add more enemy and weapon variety, you know, like guns with explosives or homing bullets, and that way each kind of weapon will have its own advantages or disadvantages against different enemy types. Speaking of guns, I originally had made so you could only carry one in your hands, and if you wanted to carry more, you could store them in your body and swap to them with hotkeys, but I thought no one would ever do that because of the sacrificed organ space, so now you can carry two at a time and swap between them. Another problem I noticed with the original design was that eating corpses wasn't really encouraged as a mechanic because you had to stop to do it, which puts you in danger of enemy fire. So to fix this, I came up with the idea of being able to pick up corpses and use them as a shield while you eat them. Finally, sound design. I just did the usual and put in a bunch of free sound effects I found online, except the eating sound, which is just me eating celery. I wasn't sure what to do for the bandit enemies. I didn't want to do the generic military dude bro. <laughs> Started. Give me something to shoot. So instead I came up with some lore that there's a drug nicknamed Killfuck used to combat the negative effects of microgravity, so it's found everywhere on crashed spacecraft, and if you overdose on it, it will give you superhuman reflexes, speed, and endurance, so obviously the bandits take it like crazy to give them an advantage in combat, but if you take too much of it, it has a side effect of temporarily disabling the natural language processing parts of your brain, so you can't talk, you can only scream like a monkey. And just because it's awesome, here's what it looks like if you only equip lungs. You'll die in one hit, but you move super fast. And yeah, that's everything I've been working on with OSD. Pretty excited to be working on this again. If you want to play it, I uploaded a demo to my Patreon. I plan to regularly put updated demos on there, so if you want to be a playtester and influence how the game is made, it's five bucks a month, and I don't charge up front, so if you sign up at cancel before the first of the month, it is free. I'm also planning to stream development on Twitch, so follow me there. And if you want to support me and learn how to make a game like this, check out my game development courses on Udemy. I have one on how to make art like this, and one on how to make a retro style FPS, kind of like this. And yes, I did get a new computer finally, thank you to everyone who supported me, and thanks to Satin, Boiler Kim, and Bongiorno on Discord for giving me advice on what parts to buy, and special thanks to my mod Satin especially for donating the motherboard on it to me.